So today I'm making a pork loin for lunch. We're using Zatar seasoning as the primary spice, very good spice. We'll really enjoy it. First thing you want to do is dry off the uh, pork loin. This is about a three pound pork loin. So not, not too, too big. Uh, we got olive oil here. We're using the light tasting. And I'm using two tablespoons and basically we're going to coat uh, both sides really good with it. The whole, you know, the whole thing. And basically for, for this roast, I'm using three ingredients, Zatar, salt, and black pepper. So very simple. Uh, just make sure you coat it really good. Uh, go ahead and put it in a fall line pan. I like doing it this way. That way you don't lose any of the spice. Uh, if you did it in a plate, then some of the spice is going to stay in the plate. So uh, this is some black pepper, freshly ground black pepper, half of a teaspoon. And I'm also using a half a teaspoon of salt as well. And, uh, you know, just basically half it, you know, put a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other side, and then use your hand and uh, mix it all together where everything is real nice and combined. And like I said, very simple recipe. Um, just work it in. And I put the slits on, on the fat side and in hopes that the seasoning will actually get in there. Plus, I'm hoping it'll get a, like crisp, it'll, it'll crisp up, you know, a little bit better than if they weren't scored. So that's pretty much it. Just work it in really good. And once you get it all nice uh, worked in, this is the uh, Zatar seasoning. We're using two tablespoons. It seems like a lot, but it's it's really not because this, this stuff is not a real strong taste in spice, I don't find, but it's a good taste in spice. So, you know, I just do one tablespoon on one side and one on the other side. And, you know, just use your hands, get, get the edges and get the sides and everything where it's really you know really incorporated in it make sure it's you know coated evenly pretty simple uh and that's pretty much it for the spices and then basically it goes in the oven uh uncovered so like i said just work it in real good get it all uh get it all over it that way every bite will have some on it and uh yeah very simple recipe um so that's what it looks like i got it coated real well I will go ahead and uh, make sure you got your oven preheated to 400 degrees and uh, we're going to do 10 minutes at 400 and then we're going to do the rest of it at 375 uh, and yeah you don't add no liquid or nothing to it so got it in the oven like I said just starting the cook cycle and like I said we're going to do 10 minutes at 400 degrees and then we'll and then we'll change the temperature and, and, and cook it the rest of the way now this is the uh, the sauce I'll be making uh, Greek uh, yogurt sauce and it's very delicious uh, we got one cup of uh, Greek yogurt and I'm actually using the low-fat version uh, we got uh, this is one tablespoon of the uh, light tasting uh, I mean the extra virgin olive oil the uh, we got minced garlic I'm using one teaspoon and you can use a clove if you want basically one clove uh, this is some fresh squeezed lemon juice, one tablespoon. Uh, it, 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 to me, you got to use fresh. And then uh, this is all my uh, spices that we're going to add to it. We got a half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of salt. We got a half a teaspoon of some black pepper, and we got one eighth teaspoon of cayenne. I did it with a fourth teaspoon before, and it's a little bit too much, so I think an eighth is going to be perfect. And uh, at this point, just go ahead and, you know, get it combined really well. Everything mixed together where it's nice and smooth. And, uh, yeah, I mean, very easy. Very good sauce. Uh, I plan on having some cherry tomatoes with it. I'm going to just dip my cherry tomatoes in the sauce. So, you know, so that's how it looks. Everything's combined. And uh, at this point, just go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator until you're ready to uh, use it. And it'll keep several days in the refrigerator. But it usually doesn't last that long for me. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty good stuff. So just cover it and refrigerate. Now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm prepare a uh, sweet potato in my air fryer, and go ahead and peel it. This is a, I guess we'd say this is a large one, so I'm gonna probably only use half of it. And then uh, the trick to uh, the air fryer is to make sure you get uh, all the pieces even. Like you don't want one bigger than the other. So try to get them, you, you know, uniform. And uh, if you got any real small pieces, I usually just toss them, or you can save them for something else. But 
I try to get all my pieces pretty pretty uniform. It just helps it cook better. So that's about the thickness I usually do. And then uh, you know, basically just cut this one in half. And you know, that's about the thickness I want. That's about the width of it. And then uh like I said, I'm gonna cut 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 the long ones in half and that'll be about the size I'm gonna shoot for for the rest of them. So just like that. Like I said, let me, let me go ahead and get them all cut up now. Ah, at this point, we'll go ahead and uh, coat the uh, potatoes with some uh, olive, some light tasting olive oil. And this is a half a tablespoon. I think that would be plenty. Like I said, I'm only using half the potato. And, you know, salt and pepper to taste. I'm not putting anything else in it because we got the, the Zatora seasoning on the pork. So, you don't want to overdo it with, you know, spices. So basically just salt, black pepper, and just you know toss it coat it really well and that's pretty much it this cooks really good in the air fryer and I have the kind that has the racks in it so here's my rack uh, you don't have to you don't have to coat it with oil because I mean the fries have oil on them already and the trick to this is to when you put them on the uh, the uh, the screen is to make sure you leave space between them uh, otherwise they won't cook as fast and won't cook evenly so there you go everything spaced out uh, this should cook really well uh, I ended up doing at uh, 15 minutes I did 10 minutes and uh, at 380 and then I did I, I tossed them around a little bit and then I did five minutes more at 380 and they came out perfect so go ahead and stick them in the air fry I, I usually do everything in the middle to me it just I don't know, the middle is the perfect spot for it and then uh yeah just let it cook like i said 10 minutes and then uh i did another five minutes so if you want them crispier you know go longer so here's my loin Let's see how we're looking here so we cooking i mean it's uh it's, it's not done yet uh but that's how we look and like i said you can start seeing the brown on it uh i went ahead and checked it here and i think it got up to like 117 or so i mean it's it's nowhere near done yet I think this might have been around a 30 minute mark so it has a ways to go and I, I thought it was going to take a little longer because I mean it's a three pound roast so it, it, it takes a little while uh, air fryer might have been a little quicker on the rotisserie but I decided just to use the oven so this is done like I said my total cook time was one hour and you sit we sit at about 145 my digital thermometer was kind of going haywire on me so I got the the analog one out and just to double check myself because you don't want to eat raw pork. That's a bad thing. <laughs> Never do that. So uh, I think 150 is perfect. Because uh, I don't really like my pork ble being too, too pink. And uh, it, did, it did make some juices that I actually uh, I'm going to use to pour on top of the roast. You know, once I plate it. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. It came out perfect. Uh, I'd say when you do a loin, try to get one with even thickness. That way it cooks evenly. I mean, that's... that's uh, you know that that's always good to do and uh let it rest for 10 minutes before you cut it because uh it'll, it'll help you know the juices stay in the meat and i had a little bit of juices probably about maybe maybe a fourth cup which is which is plenty i mean everybody can get a little a little you know taste of juice on top there alone uh i cut them in about maybe i don't know fourth inch half inch uh, slices and uh like I said, it, this this was very tender. Uh, I had it for lunch today. I mean, it was it was good. It was it was really good. That's how it looked. Not not really pink, but it's still moist. I mean, it's got a little pink to it, but I don't I don't really like a pink. I don't like pink pork. Uh, so in the middle, it may be a little bit more pink, but you know this to me this is cooked perfectly. And uh, like I said, you always want to let it rest for a little while. And that's you know that's how it looks. It's it was very moist, very tender. Uh, most people got a bad habit of cooking a pork loin for hours and hours and hours, and it's to me it just gets too dry. This is the only way to do it where it stays nice and juicy. Uh, you know, just cook it where it just gets to 145, 150, and it's done. Uh, nothing else you got to do to it. And uh, like I said, I'm having this with the uh, yogurt uh, sauce, some tomatoes. And uh, yeah, you know, very simple. This is the measuring uh, spoons I got from Amazon. It's they're magnetized, and uh, I like them. I got a bad habit of like my spoons get scattered about. So 
and this set goes all the way down to one eighth and it also has three quarter inch uh, three fourths of a, uh, uh, a tablespoon as well in it which is really nice uh, most of them don't have that see that's the three fourths uh, measuring I think that was a teaspoon but yeah it, it has everything so got my cherry tomatoes I left them whole because I plan on just using my fork and dipping them in the yogurt sauce that's my uh, Greek yogurt uh, sauce and uh, like I said you, you can use that dipping sauce pretty much for any kind of vegetable uh, here's my loin uh, I'm gonna have three of them I mean I can definitely eat that no problem so you know three three pound roast I mean you can fit easily three four people with it um, I'm like, yeah I mean that's pretty much it and now we got the sweet potato fries that I'm also dip in my uh, Greek yogurt sauce so not too unhealthy of a meal uh, I mean it's you know pretty low carb uh, sweet sweet potatoes are definitely uh, approved by the sugar busters diet plan which I used to uh, follow uh, pretty adamantly so I kind of stick to that when I'm cooking I try not to I don't really eat too many potatoes or I, I definitely try to stay away from white bread and pasta I mean sometimes you got to but here's a little bit of the sauce and it wasn't a lot of grease in it so I didn't de I didn't degrease it or anything and uh, yeah that's pretty much it yep good to go and that's how a little close-up looks on it go ahead and give it a little test here and see what we got and uh yeah this is like really good I mean look at that perfect cook very moist uh, put a little bit of my the dipping sauce on it and there you go delicious I, I really enjoyed having this for lunch today and uh yeah I, I took a bite here and like I said it was uh it was good I mean uh, it was very 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 good I would highly recommend cooking it this way and you'd be surprised but just this this is a Zator I got from Super One so it should be pretty much at every store now uh, it should be a pretty common spice even though you wouldn't think it just look at the very last spice because it's a Z that's the only one there very good